Hi, my name is Mike Hoppick. I'm part of the volunteer uh, group that uh, helps uh, put together the Sculpture Tour Salina uh, every year. Um, this is our ninth year. Um, we're excited to uh, be unveiling today 16 new sculptures in downtown Salina. Um, this program originally started um, by a group of volunteers that wanted to bring art to the community. It's kind of a two-pronged um, uh, reason we did this. One is to bring people to downtown to look at the art and also shop, and it's to expose the, the community to different types of art. Um, the city of Salina has graciously, for every year, um, offered to buy the People's Choice. Uh, so, so far we have, uh, the city has purchased eight uh, different pieces that are throughout the community. Also, the pieces are for sale, and over the last uh, eight years, we have either sold or had donated an additional 34 pieces of art. So throughout the community we have 42 pieces of art due to Sculpture Tour Salina. Um, we hope everybody can come down and uh, see what we have going on. So my name is Dale Lewis, I'm an artist out of Hastings, Minnesota. And uh, I like doing pigs. So this is, uh, when pigs fly, Amelia's jetpack. Uh, she's a good size hog, happy hog. And uh, when I was making her, I had to decide how many nipples she had, because I don't really know that much about pigs, other than I think they're cute. And uh, so I Googled it and was shocked to find out it could be anywhere from 6 to 32. And I don't know where you put 32. But, but uh, I guess the, the standard market, market hogs have like, like 12 to 14, so that's what I settled on. I gave Amelia a jetpack. You know, a lot of jet packs are designed with like two, two jets, and I thought uh, being the size gal she is, she should have more jets, so I set it on, on five Harley-Davidson uh, heavy lift thrusters. And they're, actually, they're actually mufflers from Harley-Davidson Harley uh, motorcycles. Uh, I did kind of a stainless steel tank there. This is part of a fire extinguisher. Uh, just, I repurpose uh, uh, scrap in the in the sculptures. It's something I never thought I'd be doing. I just kind of stumbled into it. Uh, kind of self-taught sculptor, self-taught welder. People people look at the, they're all the welding I do and think I know what I'm doing. I don't really. I just fake it. Uh, I was a machinist, electrical tech, and worked for a specialized machine builder. My name is Eric Brown. I'm the president and CEO of the Salina Area Chamber of Commerce. It's a beautiful Chamber of Commerce weather down here today for the 2019 Sculpture Tour Salina Unwrap Party. Uh, my children and I got to unwrap this beautiful sculpture at the corner of Santa Fe and Ash. It's called The Man. Um, as you can see, it's a nice silhouette, very nice piece. Sculpture Tour Salina is in its ninth year and is um, geared at bringing folks into the community to see the, the arts and culture that, that exists in Salina. So we are a little bit torn up um, downtown, but I think overall it's a, it's a great year. Come down and, and see everything and see all the new sculptures. Thank you. I think this is a pretty, pretty nice sculpture here. And uh, as the sign say, it's slices of heaven. As you know, Heaven is very fruitful. It slices of oranges here. And oranges is sweet. And oranges is good. Uh, my name is Diego, Diego Roberson. Um, I came out here 
uh, initially for my face to get painted and figured out about uh, statues and uh, treasure hunt they have. Um, it seems pretty nice. Um, yeah, I uh, witnessed this the orange screen? one, and they have yeah. another one, some more that we're going to get after uh, my fiance and my stepdaughter got get done with their face painting. We we're going to go try to go on a savage, scavenger hunt and find the rest of the statues. Really. But uh, we're doing it actually solely just because, um, just to do it, I like challenges. Actually, in Kansas City, uh, Kansas City, we have uh, sculptures out there. They have uh, random cows, just random cows throughout the city. Uh, you can go from uh, Van Bruin. They have a uh, that's a favorite cow I have. It's like a a red cow with like uh, cow bells painted on it, and then they have like a what is it like a like a slight blue tint over it. I think by far like the, uh, the most immaculate sculpture I've ever seen because I guess Kansas City is known for like the city of fountains or whatever, but they have like random like cows just around the town uh, numerous of like it's like a plethora of cows like around there it's crazy so like um i've yet to even succeed to find all the cows but it's like a list you're supposed to have or whatever so that was pretty dope that was pretty cool like, i like stuff like that so that's pretty cool Probably be a anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred. Really? Yeah. So, <clears throat> just because you know, well, yeah, the sand stone. Right? Oh, the yeah. stone comes with it and stuff. Yeah, it'll be oh. mounted. I'm getting ready to lift it up, and tip it back, and weld the butt plate on the bottom of it. So then, what's that? It'll be a pretty heavy little. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. They'll be they'll be heavy, heavy. So yeah, I that ain't gonna piece. go nowhere in a while. No, this thing won't go anywhere. You know, I have one that I've built my, for myself. I've had it for about four and a half years now. And it's just Stupid. like it is. Do you make any that's um, animated? Kinetic? Uh -huh. I have. I you make, have. Um, like, um, well, you see the manhole covers. I'll take and make one that'll have three or four hundred pound boulder on it. Uh -huh. And sit there and swing. So then I use those as my counterweight on the top. Huh. Get it to swing in the wind. I'll be darned. Yeah. This is Hayden, right? Yeah, Corey Hayden. Corey okay. Hayden, this is Kevin Bigley, president of MCKP. Okay. Well, I'll let you guys come out. So, all right, keep right on rolling. I'm getting ready to put the leaves on. Cool. So, do you, um, do you um, coat it, paint it, or? This one I won't. Most of the time, I leave them raw just because they'll keep on changing. Yeah. So, like now, They'll oxidize yep. rust. And... This is the leaf that I'll be putting on there. So oh, I'm cool. getting ready to go to the tree and I'm just going to be bending it around the tree and oh, around wow. the rocks to give it the shape because leaves are they're curved. Mm -hmm. they're, so these are just freehand wow. shapes for the leaves. So then they'll go on here. We'll be out about like this. So what I'm going to use is this wire here. This is off of a windmill. So when they have windmills out in like the pasture for water, so you they use a lot of um, everything I use, all scrap. Really? I don't buy new unless I absolutely have to, and that's not very often. So you know, like the stuff you see here. Yeah. This is this is how we start our company. That's what I started with right there. 
It's a tulip made out of spoons. I'll be oh, darned. Wow. Yeah, look at that. <clears throat> so, you know, I brought some rakes and that type of stuff, and people will just see a, a rake head. Well, I see a set of wings. I see a butt for a chicken or a turkey. Uh, wow. You know, uh, there's a good drill bit. This big drill bit. That drill bit's over four hundred dollars. Yeah. So when it gets out around, then I what I see is a dragonfly. So this is the body of the dragonfly. The wings on here, or the, see, the eyes yeah. here, and the wings come off. Yeah, would set of cool. feet. So yeah. So that's what I see. You know, feed that spatula that's laying there. That's a butt of a bug. So. Okay. Yep. So I'm just, I'm, I'm getting pretty close to being done. That's all I don't know. Come down and get some coffee and see the people and antique stores.